a Pisces. We're gearing up for year ahead. So I already did Cancer and I did Taurus. I shuffled these very, very well, but I'm going to give them one more shuffle on the camera. I can see what we have coming up for the year ahead for Cancer. So far, Cancer wasn't too bad. Taurus was incredible. Let's see what we have for you. Okay, make sure what you do is uh, down the bottom here, um, when you hit the, uh, I think it's the more button or whatever, I'm trying to go off memory. There should be a little thing for save. You hit save, just hit it for watch later. That way later on you can go in here and kind of reflect back on this video. So, all right. You might want to refer back to this video. All right. I'm going to be doing, going over a few things, you know, um, as far as uh, career, finances, you know, challenges, what you're going to face, um, love, um, you know, stuff here and there. And then we're going to go month to month. So if you're good with that, let's get it started. I'm going to go ahead and timestamp the, uh, the months too. Once we get to that portion, and this can tend to be a lengthy video. The first two were just under an hour. So we're around 15 minutes-ish or so. So sit back, relax, let me entertain you. Maybe you'll get something good out of this. All right, here we go. Let's look at the year ahead for all Pisces. Sun, Moon, Rising, Mercury, and North Node. We're not doing Venus because there's going to be a section for love in here. All right. So, mm, Queen of Wands just looking at me. All right, Pisces. Let's go. Let's get it started. Year ahead, 2024 for Pisces. My lady, you're gonna be meeting a gentleman. Are you dealing with a gentleman? Okay. Are you a gentleman dealing with a lady? Did I call it or what? King of Wands. Something is, somebody is like, I'm getting somebody that's very much a gentleman. Okay. Pisces. Look at that. King and queen of wands. Two people with a very, very strong work ethic. Hmm, I like it. I like it, I like it, I like it. So. Three of wands. Ace of cups. Two of wands. Devil. Ace of Wands, Strength, Ace of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles, Hangman, Three of Cups, Energy at the bottom of the deck, got the Eight of Wands. Things are going to be moving very, very fast. Are you ready? Buckle in. Put your seatbelt on. Okay. That's all I can say. Something's going to be moving fast. Something's going to be going very, very well. You could even be getting a lot of followers or something like that. Okay. You could be following a lot of people. Okay. Something like that. I'm getting a lot of fast, fast movement. All right. You're going to be meeting a lot of people that are right up your alley. A lot of people that are going to be, you know, into the same business um, that you're doing or finding other people kind of like to like jump on board. Okay, is what I'm getting. Now, as far as the rest of this winter, what's remaining in this winter is you have, um, right now something's lighting a fire under you. You could be feeling very, uh, you could be feeling a little bit frustrated, a little hot under the collar, but I, I see that you're going to be, it's, there's like a, a period of no nonsense. No nonsense. Something is going on, you're gonna be rolling with an iron fist. You're no nonsense. 
Something, there's no nonsense. That's all I'm getting. This passive Pisces. No. No. Nope, nope, nope. And I see you're going to be working hard most of the year. That's what I'm getting. There is something that's going to be lighting a fire under your collar. Okay. Nobody better not get in your way. You have a goal and you know exactly what it is you want to do. You're taking on a new endeavor, a new job. There's something that you're doing. Something is definitely lighting a fire under you. Okay. Now, I see for the spring, I only have eyes for you. I think I said that for another one. Who did I say that for recently? There is someone that has their eye on you or you have your eye on someone. I feel it's like both of you. Okay, I feel like you both are what you are watching somebody else and somebody is watching you. It feels mutual. You're both after the same thing. You both want the same thing. You're both after the same cup. You're going to be finding something, filling something. And there's a lot of good luck revolving around this. There's a lot of emotions. There's going to be a lot of pouring of emotions or something that's going to be getting wrung out. Okay, something is going to be being wrung out or left out to dry. Uh, dry your eye is kind of what I'm getting. Um, I'm not sure if that means anything to you, what that means. It's, I, I'm getting happy tears. Happy tears. Something very good is going to be coming for you. I see like a new form of healing, a new mod modality. Um, I see something else is going to be very beneficial for you come the springtime. Um, something very, very new. Your birthday might even be, um, the weather is going to be a little bit different for your, for your birthday, closer to your birthday, or maybe just around that. It's almost like spring could be coming early. Yeah. I'm kind of getting something like that. Or the weather's going to be a little bit warmer or the climate's going to be warmer, something like that. I am getting something about some flooding. I don't know if this makes any sense, but I'm getting something about some flooding, maybe wherever that, wherever it is that you are, there's going to be, I don't know if any of this is making sense, but I'm getting something about flooding. All right. Uh, keep an eye on your basement. <laughs> However, um, other than that, everything looks good. Everything looks good. As far as the summer, I feel like it's like you're going to so in the spring, something, well, something's probably going to be starting very, very soon. But in the spring, it's almost like you're going to be falling in love with something, falling in love with someone. By the summertime, you're going to find a new passion. You both want the same thing. It's like you both can't keep your hands off each other is kind of what I'm getting is something like that. Um, I keep getting something about being hot under the collar. Somebody gets you hot. Something gets you hot. Wow, I like it. I like it. I like it. I like it. <sighs> You're doing something new or something different with your hands. You're doing something with your hands. You probably are awakening the chakras in your hands. Something about your hands. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Yes. Now, I don't know how weird, weird sounds. Now, in the fall or in the autumn, there is a particular person that you could be dealing with. Somebody who's very healed. And there could be somebody that's very, very instrumental in this healing that you're going through. Okay. I feel like there's, it's a lot of this is surrounding another person that you could be dealing with. Somebody that you could be meeting or something like that. Um, it's, I mean, you got this king and queen of wands right, right off the start. Two, it's two people. There could be two people that have a lot in common. Okay. I don't know whether it's romantic or not. I'm not going to say yes or well. I don't know. You got some good cards here. I don't see the lovers. I don't see the two of cups. But I do see a match, a couple, two counterparts. Okay, I do see you have the Ace of Cups, you have the Ace of Wands, you have the Ace of Pentacles. Okay. I mean, I'm just saying, I'm just saying, I don't see anything technically romantic. Technically, I don't see that. 
okay? So chances are it, you may not be meeting somebody romantic. You may not even have that on your mind and that's, that's fine, it's good. Because it looks like you could be going after something else. Primarily you are more concerned about healing and you could even be concerned about healing others, okay? And making a business of it. Now, there could be something that you are dealing with now this, whatever this is, it is within your control somewhat. By you doing whatever it is that you're doing, these actions that you're doing, you are going to be stepping into your role and it's like, it's like you're falling in line with your destiny. Okay. And I feel like at this point, there's really no which way to go about it. Are you going to fall off the path sometimes? Of course. There's, there's, there's really only one way to go. I feel like the path is going to be very, very illuminated for you. It's not going to be hard to see which way to go. Could you mess up? Could you make a mistake? Yeah, you could. It's possible. It is possible. You know, anything's possible. I do see if you do fall off the path, you could definitely get right back on because things are going to look, things are going to go exactly the direction that you want to go or the way, the way that you should go. I don't feel like you could be fear, fearing being stuck in something. You could get attached to something. You could get attached to someone. That is very, very possible. All right. Um, I don't know if we're necessarily going to be losing money. Eh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't think so. Right now, everything looks really, really good. Now, as far as whatever this is, I see you, I feel like you're going to have a lot more respect for yourself, but you're also going to start to respect a lot of other people, okay? And I'm not saying that you're dis disrespectful. I'm not saying that. I see you being able to understand two sides of a coin, seeing things from both perspectives and being a bit more respectful of how people perceive the world, you know? And I don't see it as, as far as force. I see if you, if something doesn't seem to um, align, you'll understand it and you'll still respect it. Okay. And then you're just going to kind of, you know, move on from it and wait for somebody to catch up or vice versa. You could be dealing, somebody could be looking at you that way too. Okay. There could be something or someone that could be causing you to fall back. You could get tied up in certain things. Your energy could get scattered, get pulled in different directions. You're going to have to learn to be a little bit more disciplined this year as far as, you know, not getting distracted, not getting carried away. I feel like that's going to be a big part of this year. All in all, it's going to be really, really good. You could be meeting new people, making new friends. And I think that that is a really, really good and beautiful thing. Um, I feel like there's going to be something kind of coming together, you know, like a collaboration. You know, even though it's the Three of Cups, but I'm getting something about a collaboration. All right. Now, all right. As far as love, love is coming in. Love is coming in. As of right now, it's masquerading as passion. As of right now, not meaning right now in this present moment, as of right now, looking at the cards from my perspective right now, is passion. Okay. So make sure you are not falling into any patterns that you've been in before. Let me close this door. Hold up. Okay. All right. I'm getting a sense of maybe in the past, it's almost like you dive face first into stuff. You really might want to save this video when you're watching later. That way, just in case, if you want to revert back to it, just kind of see where you're at. You have it there. Here's how you do it. Just right down here at the bottom where it says save. Just make sure you store it under my name. Become the star. Favorites. Best shots. Important. Whatever floats your boat. That's pretty much it. Also, I did put timestamps below so that you can go month to month without having to go through the entire reading. That's it. Enjoy the reading. But I feel like you could be diving face first into something without really fully checking something out or like looking into something or waiting. And then you tend to get, you know, stuck, burned or something like that. Slow down. Slow down. You need to slow down. 
okay? Because something is definitely coming in and it could change things very, very drastically and dramatically for you. It doesn't look bad, but I can't help. There is a devil here. So you have to be careful. Are you still falling for certain traps? Are you still falling into certain patterns? Okay. So take a breath. Relax. It's no race. Okay. That's what I'm getting. However, there is something definitely coming in. Now, this person could be around you. If they're not around you right now, they're going to be coming in very, very soon. There is also the return of somebody else. I don't necessarily know that you want to deal with whatever this thing is from the past. There's a lot of emotions attached to it. And whatever this is, it's like something that you, it's, it's like whatever this thing is from the past, it looks like everything that you've ever wanted. Okay. So maybe it's something about a particular person. Let's say, you know, this is somebody that you, you broke up with, but you didn't, <clears throat> excuse me, but you didn't want to break up with them. You didn't want to lose a relationship. Maybe something happened. Maybe it was ended prematurely. They ran off, whatever it was. There's still somebody that you always wanted. Okay, it, let's say it's something like that. I would be very, very careful. Okay, because there is a partnership that you have going on here. So don't be fooled by whatever this is. Whatever this is, it's not going to stay long. So make sure that whatever this thing is, is coming in that looks like it has everything that you've ever wanted. Make sure you don't drop whatever this thing is that you could be dealing with with another person who is very firm, who is on the same page with you, who, you know, has the exact ideas, you know, whatever. I don't know if it's, well, whatever it is. There's something coming in from the past, something or, or something that could be very fleshy is coming in. Be very careful because it's not going to stick around. And you could, you very well could lose something that could work very, very well for you in the long term. All right. Now, as far as you could be tying up. Now, as far as your finances and your money, I don't see a lot of that here. On one end, I see the Ace of Cups. and the other end, I see the Devil. And I see you trying to decide. So whatever it is that you're doing, are you doing it for the right reasons? Are you doing something to get rich? Are you doing something to get money? Are you doing something for, for whatever it is? Are you trying to get over on somebody? Is someone trying to get over on you? I feel it's that you have a decision to make on why you want to do something in particular. Okay. Is your heart pure? Do you feel like whatever it is that you're going that you that you need to get into, it's got to be something that you love. Okay? It's got to be something that you feel guided to do. All right? That's how everything will flow to you. Everything that you want. I don't know if it's anything going to be like mega millions or anything like that, but it's going to satisfy you. It's going to quench every thirst that you have. Or you could go the route of the devil by doing something that is really not in your nature or not doing something that, that you want to do or it's something doing it for the wrong reasons. Like going after something, you know, I'm going to do this because all this money or whatever. Stop. Don't do that. You're going to lose if you do that. Okay. So really, really consider whether your heart is in it for the right reasons. Okay. You really need to stop and think. You could be being consumed by the devil, okay? You might need to pause a few times here and there, okay? And really, really consider why it is that you could be doing something or wanting to do something, all right? You know, especially when, you know, I keep seeing this thing that could be coming in here. Like I said, you could have a partner or somebody that could come in, whether it's romantic or not. I don't even know if it's romantic, but it's, it's definitely a match, whatever this is. Something else could come in very, very flashy and you could get, you know, well, you are a, um, what's the one I'm looking for? 
Pisces, Gemini, Virgo, and um, Sagittarius. They're all, um, they're not fixed. <laughs> they're not the, I can't think of the modality that they are. <laughs> I don't know why I'm drawing a blank. Um, but they tend to constantly change and shift. And that could be where you are. You could see something flashy and run off and you're going to lose something that you don't want to lose. So really consider about being tempted, okay? For the wrong reasons. All right, now that I got that out of the way. Mutable, mutable, mutable sign. You're a mutable sign, okay? So you may have a tendency to get easily distracted, okay? And run after something that, you know, I'll just put it that way. All right. You're going to be starting something, and I'll tell you what, work and career looks really, really good. It looks good. It looks good. Something brand new. Could it cost a lot of money? Well, I don't know. I don't know. I feel like it's something that's brand new. Somebody has the magic touch. Somebody has the Midas touch. Okay. You're going to be deciding whether it's money or passion. Mm hmm Yeah. You're going to be going after passion. All right. And in doing that, you're going to earn a very good living and you're going to be very, very comfortable. Don't, I, I keep getting, don't go after something for the money if it's like a get rich quick thing or whatever it is or if there's somebody that's, it's something about that. Just be careful about that. All right. I don't see you going that, in that direction, though. Um, make sure that you keep your desires in check. Keep your desires in check. This right here. Let me get. Let me get a little bit more on this. Think about this. These challenges. There's something that might make you feel a little. I got this down here. Challenges for Pisces for 2024. 2024. Let me get this. Mm. Oh. It might be downsizing. Or something just isn't going to be coming in quite as soon as you like or the way that you want. You're going to have. Things look good. You're not going to be able to see certain blessings. You're not going to see something as a blessing. Be careful of taking something for granted. Be careful of taking something for granted. Okay. Now, you are going to go through some changes this year. These changes that you're going to go through are going to be quite uncomfortable. However, the amount of wealth on the inside is, it's immeasurable, okay? I feel that there's something, it's something about a new awakening, more and more and more. There's always more. There's always more. I was literally just saying this for Taurus. Was it Taurus? There's always more. There's always more to know. Somebody might feel like they have everything and that they know everything. No, they don't. They don't. They don't know the half of it. No. There's something here, and somebody's going to go through some sort of discomfort. Okay? It's like another awakening. And it has a lot to do with the way that they see things, the way that they see other people, money, and their current situation and their current circumstances. It's like somebody wants, I, I, want, I know what I want, and I want it now. No, you don't. It's it's something, it's like somebody needs to be a little bit more patient. Somebody needs to be patient. Be grateful. Be grateful because this is beautiful. <laughs> I am getting something like that. This is like, I see this as like an incredible, incredible, beautiful year ahead of you. This really is incredible. Now, with that, With that being said, it could be 
like you're not really satisfied. It's it it's it's coming across as a little ungrateful. It really is. All right. I don't, and I don't know why. That's what's going to be challenging you. That's what's going to be hard for you. It's almost like it's going to be hard for you to see the blessings. What the hell is going on back here? Something tickling my back? I don't know if somebody behind me. <laughs> yeah. There is something that could definitely be creeping up on you. But I, it's like, it's like a blessing that comes in, but you're not seeing it as a blessing. It's literally something that you're asking for, but you're not going to like how it feels or whatever it is that you got to do in order to get it. Okay. So it's like, It's like, you know, like, like I, I, the only thing I can liken it to is like, like a spiritual awakening. You know, you go through your awakening and you don't realize how much pain it is or, you know, the different things that you have to kind of like realize about life, about people, the hard lessons that you have to learn, you know, and you don't see it that one day, 10 years from now, you know, that you could have that one day you'll look back and you're like, man, I can't believe I went through that, but thank God I did. Okay. It's like whatever the blessing is that's coming in, you're not going to see it as a blessing. Okay? And it's incredibly a blessing. It's like not going to it's not going to come in the way that you think it is. That's what it is. It's like this control. That's what it is. It's the control. It could even be something about being pompous. Okay? You may think I'm getting something like you might think that you are I'm getting a little bit of arrogance. Now either you could be dealing with somebody that could be arrogant. There there could be something that you are dealing with. So make sure that you're kind of keeping that in check and just, you know. <sighs> That's kind of what I'm getting. It's like you're not going to be fully happy about something, even though you your your whole year is going to be blessing upon blessing. So just keep that in mind. Okay. I don't know what that means or how whatever, whatever. I don't really know. But Hang on one second. All right. Sorry about that. But um, yeah. And I don't know if that's you or if that could be somebody that you're dealing with. Okay. I can't help it. I'm getting something about somebody that just like, they're not seeing a blessing for what it is. Or somebody could even be kind of coming across a bit of ungrateful. I don't know if it's you. I mean, for somebody it could be, but I don't know. I don't know. Because you do have this three of cups here. Okay, and it is this four of wands here. Okay, but, and sometimes this can be a very, you know, whatever. No. All right. Oh, uh, let's see. All right. Let's do month to month. Okay. January. Hot. Working. Working hard. Something going on, you know, make sure that you're keeping your, you know, demeanor, the attitude in check. Um, don't go flying off the handle. Don't start control. I'm, you know, you could be like starting to like be very, very controlling. You could lose your temper or something like that. So just be very, very careful. All right. Um, but I see you starting to kind of rope it all in and, you know, managing a lot better. Um, I see you tidying up. I also see something about, I don't know if you're handy with certain things, or maybe you could be calling a handyman or something like that. I don't know why I said handyman. Okay, so apologize. Um, it's just a term is what I kind of got, okay? Um, but I'm getting something about that. As far as you might be needing some help, or you might be doing Miss Fix It. I kind of almost see it as like, you know, like housework. I see it as like, I did say something about a flood or a basement at some point. I did say something like that. Um, 
but I almost see like somebody that maybe needs to um it's a repair person okay you might be doing something in order to kind of fix something yourself learning how to fix something because maybe you're not able to you know have somebody pay for somebody to fix something so you could be learning something about fixing something yourself okay um I don't know why I'm getting that for January all right so but it looks good everything looks okay I feel like you're going to be learning a lot and you're going to be working very very hard but you're starting to kind of maintain and manage and you're getting the swing of things all right as far as February I feel like you're not going to be you're going to be slowing down a little bit but you're still going to be on top you're still going to be kind of like going you know wait a minute you could be receiving flowers you could be receiving flowers. Somebody might find you very attractive, very stimulating. Now, whoever this is, I, there could be like a February Pisces. Okay? You could be a February Pisces. All right? And that could be like some kind of an early gift or something like that. I see you as being very alluring and very attractive. I see you being able to kind of slow down and take it down a little bit of a notch. It's not going to be quite the hustle and bustle of December and January. It's going to be a little bit easier, but you're still going to be able to maintain. You're going to look good while doing it. I'm seeing something about, you know, I don't know why I'm getting something about a new floor. I don't know why I'm picking, picturing certain things like that. So I don't know what that means, you know. <laughs> okay. All right. March. March. Now... I see scroll, scroll, scrolling. You can be doing a lot of scrolling, a lot of searching, searching for something in March. Okay. Something will eventually hit you. It's like you could be like searching for something or waiting for something. You know, you're, you have this anticipation that there could be something coming and eventually it will kind of hit you and it's just going to kind of like, you're going to know exactly what this is. Um, but it's going to be something that's very illuminating to you. All right. You could actually be even receiving some sort of a visitor or a guest. You could be receiving some kind of information or some kind of message from another person. It's going to be something that's very, very important to you. Okay. Um, I feel like whatever this is, is going to answer a lot of questions for you, whatever this is. Whether this is something that kind of comes in, you know, from the astral and the etheric level, or if it's something, you know, in reality, okay? Something that you learn or something that's going to come in, it's going to come in right at the right time, and it's going to make perfect sense to you, all right? But it's going to be rewarding. It's like I, I'm just, something's going to come in right at the nick of time. All right. Now, in April, I think everyone has gotten the Ace of Cups so far. Okay. The Holy Grail understanding what certain things mean understanding symbology understanding a lot of different things as far as life human nature psychology healing something very very beautiful okay i'm getting it's like the prize of all prizes you know you could really find something either within you could start to kind of pour outwards or you could actually meet somebody that could be like the prize of all prizes it's something that's very very rewarding very very stimulating could it be new love absolutely you really could find new love but it also could just be something about you okay now um i see this as success but it's going to be different shades of success different levels of success so let's say you have met someone who maybe is kind of going through exactly the same thing that you're going through. They're reaching some sort of a level of success and you're reaching some sort of level of success. I feel like it's something that's going to be quite similar at the same time. You're both kind of like on the same timeline. 
you are like basically it's like drinking from the same cup okay that's kind of how I'm seeing it it's like something about being on the same timeline there's a particular timeline as far as April that's going to be very interesting it's something about this is very very interesting but very rewarding you're going to be seeing things very very differently in April okay now you know Fu Manchu isn't that a, like a beard or something like that? A Fu Manchu? I don't know why I'm thinking about that. I don't know why that kind of popped in my mind. But if we come back to it, maybe it'd be somebody that has, has a Fu Manchu. Is that what the... Hold on one second. Okay, so it is that. But I'm also seeing like an infamous villain who originated in the novels of British author Sax Romer, but has become somewhat of a stock character in fiction due to his popularity and a very iconic villain overall. Ugh. An extraordinary gentleman, simply called the doctor. He is a... Okay. I don't know what that means. So, Okay. That could be somebody. All right. Let's say you have an attraction to somebody who is like the bad guy. You have this devil here. Maybe that could be part of it. Maybe that could be part of it. Okay. You like people that are the bad guy, you know, or the bad girl. You might have a taste for trash. <laughs> you might have a taste for people that just are bad. And you might be changing that. Okay. At least I hope so. You could even slip back into certain things. You might have a bad something. Bad girl. Bad boy. Bad guy. Kind of thing. Okay. You could be changing that taste that you have. <laughs> okay. Because um, I see definitely see this choice here. Okay. You could be slipping. Yeah. 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 Let's say you meet somebody that's incredibly pure, gentle, sweet, loving. But then there's something you're just like, I just need somebody that's bad. And be careful this year. You gotta be careful this year. Be careful what you wish for. Okay. And because I see in May, there is definitely some sort of a choice that you can be making. Um, there is one clear choice there is one clear choice. You have your eye on it, but you could always stray. You could always choose wrong. I remember saying some, something like that in the very beginning. So be very careful. All right. Something could look very harmless. Okay. There could be something very sweet and gentle, but then there's something very majestic also. Um, I'm getting something like, so... You know how people like, they could have everything that they ever wanted, but then something kind of comes through, the devil comes through and tempts them, and then they throw away an entire marriage, they throw away this, they throw away that, just for one kind of like, temptation. There could be something like that that comes around. It's almost like some, and again, I'm being reminded about this. It's almost like somebody could, it's, that's how it's being presented. Okay, I get it now. I get it now. It's like not realizing the gift that you have or whatever this blessing is that could be coming in because it can be easily taken away from you. I see you making the right decision, but you got to be very, very careful. Okay. It's as though something else catches your attention because it looks good. But it's the devil. All right. I'm going to leave it at that. So be very, very careful because once that happens, so you have in May and then in June, you have the devil. You're going to be meeting the devil in June. Okay. Face to face. Now, 
whoever this is, this is a very, very dark energy. You could go through some form of depression or you could start to kind of go off the rails. Something could happen that could make you kind of um, stumble. Okay? Can make a mistake. Okay? I don't see it being permanent. Okay? I don't see it being permanent. I do seeing it being uncomfortable. Okay? And it is destined. Okay? Because the devil is a major arcana. So it is a destiny card. So you are going to be meeting the devil in June. Okay? You have a date with the devil in June. We'll put it that way. All right. Um, let me get some clarification on this. How about this? Nine of Swords. Now, this might have something to do with... There's someone in particular that you could be meeting or collaborating with and they could cause kind of a problem. CM. I got the same thing for um, MC, CM. I got the same thing for uh, Cancer. There's going to be something that you're going to need to be very delicate with. Um, you could be doing something in a hurry, in a rush. And you could be leaving yourself very open and very susceptible for dark energies to come in. Okay. There is, this is a masculine energy. It feel, literally feels like, mm, literally feels like a male. Remember I said something Fu Manchu? to say everyone that sports that you know facial hair is bad but you know chances are there could be somebody that you know they could have some kind of facial hair all right and it can cause problems all right i see you I, I now the thing is is like so july you know, august nope june july And then August. Those months are going to be very, very hot. Something is going to be very, very interesting going on during these months. Okay. Um, if I'm not mistaken, Pluto dips back into the sign of Capricorn one more time for a couple of months and before it goes into Aquarius permanently for like 15 or 20 years. Okay. And I think it could be around that time. Okay. So certain things, if certain things are going very, very good, chances are the rug could get ripped out from under you briefly, just for a moment. Okay. But then you'll be able to kind of get it all back together. Because, you know, I see during this time, and I don't know if it's necessarily during that time frame, but I'm being reminded about something like that. Okay. I see you definitely going to be able to get a hold of it, whatever this is. In, uh, in July. All right. June's going to be a little rough. All right. Now, this is where I see you doing something different and doing some, I see you doing something literally with your hands. Okay. Now, there is a dragon on this, um, on this wand right here. And this is a very small wand. These wands are not... It's like ex extendable? Expendable? Expendable. Something? Someone? Expendable? Okay. I don't know. I don't know if that's right. really the right way to go about it. You might be... Okay. That person might be expendable, okay? 
now? I would definitely say yes. There is something that you will be able to lose. You'll definitely be able to lose. Let me look at whenever this, when, whenever Pluto comes in here, okay? You'll definitely be able to get over it, so. <sighs> Pluto re-enters Capricorn. September 3rd. 2024. From September to November 19th, 2024. Uh, November 19th, 2024 is when Pluto will go into Aquarius for the final time. And it will stay there until 2043. And that could be what some of this is. All right. There could be like one last temptation before it. Because right here, September looks actually pretty good for you. All right. You could be having some kind of a fear about it. August. We didn't finish here with uh, July. Something about July. Something about coming in second place. Something coming in second place. Not being fully able to get your hands on something yet. Okay, so it is okay. It is okay if something doesn't go quite fully as you expect, but you're still going to come out the winner. Okay, so be patient. Okay, that's what I'm getting. Now, and I feel like it ha might have something to do with whatever this is. Something happens, if something causes like this hiccup, and it could cause you to kind of like take a step back or kind of like being knocked down on a rung is what I'm getting. But you're still going to end up on top. Okay. Now, as far as August. I mean, August looks good. You're going to be like, it's like right at the, at the right place at the right time. You're going to be right at the right place at the right time. So it's almost like whatever it is that happens, is it destined to happen? Yes. But it's actually going to put you where you are actually supposed to be. I don't know if I can explain this right. It's almost like you could be doing something like it would almost be like you're doing something out of a timeline. You're not on the right timeline. But whatever this is, it knocks you back to put you on the, the correct timeline. If that makes any sense. I don't know, but that's kind of what I'm getting. All right. All in all, August looks really, really good. You're going to be regaining your strength, your poise, and kind of bringing everything back together and cleaning up whatever it was, whatever this mess was that had happened, everything's going to start to get cleaned up and you're going to be preparing for September. Okay. It's like something that happens. It's almost like the calm before the storm. You're going to be preparing yourself for the storm. So it's almost like getting something out of the way and being prepared for something. Okay, because maybe you're expecting something bad to happen. So you like have like an overflow or an overabundance or like something where it's like you save a lot of money or something like that to be prepared for it, to be prepared for some kind of storm. And it's going to turn out, it's going to turn out very, very well. Now, as far as whatever this was that tempted you, you're going to get something back. Whatever it was that you had lost or had before that, and this kind of like took you down a wrong turn, eventually it's going to come back around in September. Okay. And everything's going to be back on track. That's all I'm getting. I don't know if that makes any sense, but hopefully if you save this video and you go back to it, it's going to make perfect sense to you. Hopefully by then. All right. <laughs> October looks good. Um, I kind of see something like, I don't know if you mean somebody could be taking a trip to Washington DC. I don't know why I'm getting something like that. But I see, you know, a definitely a, a trip. Why DC? Why? Why am I getting that? I don't know. Why am I getting, I don't know why I'm getting something like that, but I am. I'm seeing Washington DC. Okay. I'm seeing something very beautiful. Something, there could be a reason why you're going there. Maybe it's not that. 
Maybe you could taking, be taking a trip. Or somebody could be coming from Washington. Maybe find out something about Washington. Might be somebody named Washington. I don't know. But I'm getting that. Okay. Um... I don't have all the answers. I just know what I see. <laughs> it's like something is very classic, lots of history, but classy, refined. I'm not saying, but that's just kind of what I'm seeing. I'm not saying that there's, that's just what I'm seeing. History, classy, classic, classical, old world, um, something very important, studious, artistic, okay? I'm getting these words, you know, white, stone, marble, um, uh, statue, statue. These are things I'm seeing. Um, carpet, green, red. Okay, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe you can tell me. <laughs> so I'm getting for October. All right. Hmm. Could you be dressing up? You might be meeting. Oh, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. You might be meeting somebody who dresses up like Washington or something like that. Somebody very yeah, whatever. There could be something about that. Maybe a costume, costume party. I don't know. All right. I'm leaving that with that. I'm not going to dive into that. I have no idea what the heck I'm seeing, but that's something about October. <laughs> Sometimes I get little flashes. Um, and I'm kind of seeing something like that. All in all, it looks good. Something very healing, very therapeutic. Um, I'm seeing something very fun, though. It's something classy, but it's something very fun. And it's also very healing. It's almost like, you know getting into something uh, brand new, a new side of yourself, but it's also going to be very, very healthy. Well, I'm not saying anything, you know, whatever. But anyway, it's going to be fun. All right. Anyway, November. In November, you're going to have some sort of a new, brand new awakening, seeing things very, very different. Um, I see like, it's like you're going to be stuck with something, but you know, it's like you're going to enjoy being stuck. It's almost like stuck to somebody, like a soul contract. But it's like you're happy to be stuck. You're going to be happy to be stuck with whatever this is. It's like having a realization about something, about your place in the world, um, whatever it is that you're supposed to be doing, the direction that you're going, and somebody else that you could be going down that path with, you know, it's a newfound um, love, acceptance, peace that you're going to be getting. It's, I keep getting, it's like, I'm happy to be stuck with you. I'm glad to be stuck with you. I'm glad I'm going to be stuck. It's almost like tying the knot. Do I see marriage? Do I see a wedding? No. But it's like that. Steampunk. Steampunk. Okay. You could even be pretending to be stuck or it's like content to be stuck. It's like you're okay with it. It's, it's like, okay, I'm going to put it like this. It's almost a little kinky. It's like not wanting to be stuck or trying to elude that you don't want to be stuck with somebody. But it's almost like so I only thing I can imagine it as is like <laughs> this might sound kind of weird. Like you don't like somebody or you say that you don't like somebody or you act like you don't like somebody, but really you you like somebody. So okay, so I'm being I'm being shown like you know um examples. You ever seen the I love the Golden Girls. The the Golden Girls episode with George Clooney when George Clooney was younger, before he was George Clooney, he played a cop 
and he was, you know, a partner with another cop. I think his name was Al. Okay. And they needed to do a stakeout because, you know, the girls, their neighbors were apparently like jewel thieves or something like that. I can't remember exactly the story. Um, but these cops wanted to set up in the Golden Girls home, you know, to kind of catch these, these thieves, these robbers, these whatever, these felons. And while doing that, Dorothy wasn't very happy about having these people just kind of like hanging out in their home. And everyone else was like, hey, this is cool. This is fun. This is yada, yada, yada. Well, the main cop, Dorothy and him, they would fight with each other. And it was this bickering back and forth. And it turned out they were really, really hot for each other. And she kept, they, they would keep insulting each other and yelling at each other. And then the one day it was funny because it was just like, Blanche knew that they had the hots for each other because she could see it. But, you know, no one else could see it. And then at one point, Dorothy realizes she's like, oh my God, I am crazy nuts about this guy. You know, it was really, really cute. So it was like, even though it seems as though somebody doesn't want to be stuck with somebody, they are enjoying being stuck with somebody. If that makes sense. I kind of went the long way around it, but that's the only way I can describe it. It's like, you know, I don't want to be stuck with this person, but I love being stuck to this person. It's like that. It's just like, man, you know, if something's really kinky and whatever. Okay. Anyway, December. Now, there could be something that goes on. Whoever this person is, they could be a friend. They could be a friend. It's very possible. Um, or somebody like a new friend or something like that. Or somebody that you meet through a friend. Something about this. I don't know if I got... Um, yeah. Because I kept thinking, because I keep seeing this four of wands in reverse, because that's what I clarified this, this line with, with this. But for whatever reason, I have it on this card here. And I have this ten of cups. You could really be finding somebody that really is your true ten of cups, even though it's not what you thought. It's not what you thought. It's not going to turn out the way that you thought it was. But it turns out, this is everything that you ever wanted. This is so weird. I'm kind of going back to that first. What in the world is going on here? And this kind of comes back to the whole thing with your battles. This could be something that you're fighting with. This could be something that you're fighting with. You could be fighting some kind of temptation or some kind of attraction. That's what it is. You are fighting some kind of an attraction that you have. Or somebody could be fighting an attraction they have to you. Okay. But it's, I mean, look at this Ten of Cups. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. It's not exactly how you thought or imagined it. But something about it is incredibly beautiful. By the year's end, things are going to make complete sense. I feel like you're going to be finding somebody that you want to, you know, whether it's romantic or not, it feels romantic, but whether it's romantic or not, I don't know, but I feel like you could be meeting, you know, somebody, you're going to be meeting somebody really soon because look, I'm being reminded about this King and Queen of Wands here. You're going to be meeting somebody that's going to match you very, very well. And I remember saying, I don't know if it's necessarily because I don't have the two of cups. I don't have the lovers. So it's not like there's like any kind of like real theme, but as I'm kind of like digging into each, it almost seems like there is something going on here. It's beneath the surface. It may not be relevant on the surface. And you do have that Ace of Cups. I have no idea. I'm actually kind of confused by this reading here, Pisces, because it's, there's definitely, what is hidden here? There's something hidden here. What is hidden? What is hidden? Emperor. Emperor. Judgment. Look at that. There's somebody that could be disguised as your emperor and you don't even know it. They may not even know it either. Yeah. Yes. Mm-hmm. 
it's like it's time look at that six six of pentacles kind of came out but anyway you're going to get the cooperation that you want you have this judgment here it's time it's time for things to start to fall into place I'm leaving it there because whatever this is it's very confusing to me it's going to be confusing to you too only thing I can say is you really could be finding a, a partner I'll just leave it at that you could be finding a partner whether it's romantic or not I don't know this is so <sighs> this whatever this is there could be something or someone that could have you in your head and you just don't know. You don't know how to take them. You don't know how to see them. But there's definitely something bubbling beneath the surface with you and another person. And it could be something that you are trying to deny or they're trying to deny. All right. And there's this other person over here. I don't, that's, eh, I don't know what that is. I don't know what that is. That's, that's nothing. You might think that you've wanted that, but you don't. I don't know what that is. I don't know who that is, but there's something about facial hair right here. I don't know who that is. I don't know what that is, but that's got to go. That is something about it is not good. And that could actually interfere with whatever this is. But I feel like in the end, it's going to kind of come together. I got the emperor. I'm leaving it there, Pisces. I don't know. I don't know. You tell me. Go back to this video at some point and, you know, give me an update. Because <laughs> I don't know what the heck. I'm not. Again, it's like something is like, it's not romantic, but I can feel it. It's not in the cards, but I can feel it. Okay. That's why it's confusing to me. So I'll put it this way. There could be, there could be an attraction to someone. Something that you feel, but you're not seeing the signs. It can be like, you know, does this person like me? Do I like this person? I think I do. It's like that. Strange. <laughs> anyway, I don't know. I can't seem to understand it. Somebody probably can't understand themselves. So... Anyway, I'm going to leave it there. All right, Pisces. Good luck. This was a, this was an interesting reading. It has me, toward the end, it has me a little bit confused. And it's just kind of like, ugh. But it's good. It's good. It's beautiful. It's really, really good. So, I'm leaving it there. All right. I want to see what time it is. Maybe I can go out and get ice cream. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> after this i think i need it all right that's it good luck i will see you around drop me a comment let me know and why don't you give me a thumbs up please <laughs> just give me a thumbs up please and um why don't you uh, hit the notification bell why don't you please subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell so you're notified every time i upload a new video that's it i'm leaving it there i'm done i'm tired <laughs> all right good luck pisces i'll see you around